and welcome back to my channel, Coloring with Kate. Today I want to show you all my books I bought in February of 2023. As I said in my previous videos, I do this because then you know which coloring books I have. And if you have one of those coloring books, we can plan a buddy. I want to start with all the Disney color books I bought. And the first ones are Color by Numbers. Um, there are eight. They are more pixel-like. They are all squares. And you color them in by number. So I have Disney Grand Classique. Disney Girl Power. Mickey and Friends. Buddies, Animo, Princess at Face, Love Stories, and Tsum Tsum. I'm sorry if I pronounce things wrong. My French is not that great. Then I bought another grand block with magic. You can see a couple of images here. This one is the front page of another grand block I have, which is about fairies, I think. You have already seen that in a previous video. And this month of February, I bought two mystery box, and in the in both there were a couple of Disney coloring books. The first one is this mini block. I think it's nice that it's smaller than the grand blocks. The second one was a color by number, Sue's Lotion. Um, as you have seen my April plans video, I plan to do a page in this one. Um, I think it's really fun that some places like here already has a little bit of color. But I also think that that is maybe a little bit harder to find the correct color but I don't know I haven't colored with these kinds of beginnings so we will see if I can get the colors as much as I can to this ones and then there was this big Disney book Chateau this is about castles and I love how this book looks. It's so pretty. It's thick paper. I really love this book. This is a very large book because this is the Suslo Ocean. And you see this is much bigger than that book. So it doesn't fit on my shelf, it is standing on my desk where I color because I don't know where else I have to put it but I think it's a very beautiful book and I am a little bit overwhelmed again to color in it but it, this was one of a mystery box so I didn't know I bought this but I'm glad I have it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and can't wait until I get inspiration to color in it. But I love how beautiful this book is. And that were all my Disney color books. The one is from Yeah the Summer Cute Mermaids Fantasy Coloring Book. 
I really like it. The only thing I don't like is this, that you have two pages of each. So you can, when you make a mistake, you can color another one. But usually if I make a mistake, I go with it and do the best I can. And I don't really like that I have two pages of the same. And then I have um, three more books that were in the mystery boxes that are not from Disney. Um, I have this Mandela's um, book. You can put it between the papers in a book so you know where you are. I don't know the English word for it. And I just realized now I'm making these videos and I'm going to show you my finished pages that I really can use these ones to um, put it between my book coloring books so I know uh, which pages I want to show you. It are 50 of these. So that must be enough for my coloring book finished pages because I don't get 250 books per month. But I can also use them for whips or body colors. First I didn't know what to do with it and now I got an idea to do that. Um, this is another book. It's small. It has uh, big images already gold and black and you can color it further. I just... this is more like a winter theme and now it's spring so I don't really like to color in it now because I want to enjoy the good weather and not thinking about snow and so this one is going on my shelf for the winter to color in and then I have an illusions dioptic and I just don't know how to color this especially this gray white ones because I think the grey is already colored and you can do the lines, you can do the white lines but I don't know what that will bring more to this page so I like the mystery boxes I just don't really like everything that was in it but I was very very happy with my Disney books and I'm now really happy with the uh, mandala for between book pages and I just have to figure out a way how to color this until then it goes back on my shelf then I bought my first book of Rita Berman um, these books are standing top of my wish list I bought Meine Reise durch Europa because I live in Europe I just didn't start in it, but I have a buddy for this month planned, as you can see in my April plans video, and I want to start on it as soon as I can. Also, at the end of February, I decided I want to join Amanda, her hashtag, Sea of Colors, Color Along, and... So I bought this book, Sea of Colors, by Angela Gonzalez, and I just started right away in it, and I'm very happy I bought this one, because I really like the images, and I really like that all the animals have such big eyes. I think they make it really cute, and I just really enjoy this book to color in for Amanda, her hashtag. Then I bought my first book from Dots and Mosaics by My Dots World. I bought this for the Dots Challenge. So I hope there are future Dots Challenges that are in this book. And then I can fill my book as long as the challenge continues. I again bought Coco Wayo books. 
I think you can say I am really in love with these books of Gokuwayo. I really like them. I bought Magic Diary. I'm having an idea with this. I don't know how it's going to plan. I see it as you read a diary. I'm having a couple ideas what I want to do with this. I just didn't start it on it. And I really want to start on it. And the other Kokowaya book I bought was this Galaxy Queen book. And I really like the pictures. I really like that it's faces. I really like to do faces of Kokowaya. And Yes, I just just love Gokuwayo books. Then I bought the Circle of Life and I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the artist. This is the name. I just really don't know how to say it and I'm don't going to try it because I'm very afraid I don't can I just don't can say it. But I this is gorgeous. This is really really gorgeous. Here maybe you see the name a little bit bigger. The this this is just amazing. This is just so gorgeous but so intimidating to color. So it's high on my list to color in, but I'm just too afraid I ruin the picture because look how I just don't have any words. I just really, really love the pages and I love how it looks. Just beautiful. And then I bought another Ava Brown book, Secret Village. I was planning on buying the whole uh, collection of the Secret Village because I wanted to make a story. I still want to make a story. I did this one. Uh. I just wanted to tell a story through these pages, but I don't know. I just, again, like the Yad Summer books, they have a copy of every page at the end, so you get half of the book and the other half. I don't just know what to do with it because. I want to color them one time and not two times. I just want to color other things instead of the same page for the second time. Maybe I'm going to do it, maybe not. I just don't know for sure. But that's how I feel about it. I bought another Zodiac book. I just really love Zodiac and I love my hashtag. I don't know. One day all my books are completed. Maybe I'm going to do just a Zodiac year <laughs> next year and I'm only color my Zodiac books. I like it. I like the pages and I already have one done, but you will see them in my upcoming final pages for that month. Then I bought another 50 Prehistoric miniatures from Emilia and Jokova. I just loved that it has dinos in it, and my son loves dinos, so I thought of him when I bought this one. And I haven't showed him to him, but I'm really excited to show it and see what he thinks. But I think I'm going to show my colored pages in it and I haven't colored anything in him in it so I don't have to show it to him yet. 
but I'm really excited what he is going to say about it. Then I bought a book, Easy Spring by Joshua Dunbar. Um, I love the easy pages. You can do it quick when you don't have really have lots of time to color. Um, I love it's easy. I love that it's pre-shaded a little bit. Um, when I don't have a lot of time and feel like coloring, I take these easy books off my shelf and going to color in it. Also, I don't have really colored in it right now. Maybe more in the future. Then I have the Kawaii coloring book by Alexandra Francisi. I loved how cute the pages are. And I just love Kawaii coloring books. I didn't realize I loved Kawaii coloring books so much, so much until I bought one and watched flip throughs of more books. Um, I just bought more and more and more and more because I think they are so incredibly cute and so much fun to color. You can use so lots of color in them as much as you want or as less as you want and the end result is just cute. Then I bought my first ever Matchstick Mouse book. I had these a long time on my wish list, and when I saw that Morgan O'Brien came out with this springtime coloring book of Magic Mouse, I just had to have it. I still thought it's almost spring. I love that the weather is going to get better. I wanted a long time the Magic Mouse because she is so incredibly cute. Um, this one I did already and I just think it's so cute so yeah and then I bought another Hannah Lynn coloring book I bought the grayscale coloring book of her ears and fancy fantasy faces that's a lot of F <laughs> And I think they are so beautiful and I love that it's pre-shaded. I have a special place in my heart for pre-shaded coloring books, I think. If I see a coloring book that is pre-shaded, I buy it if I like it. And this one is just cute. I love it. Didn't work in it. Need to work in it. I love to color faces. I just don't know why I struggle with skin sometimes, but still I love to color faces. And my last book I bought in February is this nice little town, town by Tatiana Bogoma Stelhova. This has the books one to three of nice little town in it and ten new pictures so it's a thick book and i haven't started in it but i think i like to color this i only didn't know that the border i think you say it that way was so thick and white and but I was thinking maybe I'm just drawing lines here so it's a real border and then I'm going to color in between those lines and maybe fill this in with black so you can see the image good and that you don't get distracted by all this white at the sides I didn't realize there was not much of people in there. It's just a lot of buildings. But still, I do like it. And I 
love her drawings. This one I think is. This one I think you I don't going to do this with the borders. This is just the background, but especially here. I think I'm going to do what I said. And here it's just background. And you can fill it in with the color of the background. I see that her style changed between the books, I think, because here you have that big border still and here not anymore. I also don't exactly know what is book one, two or three and what are the extra pages, but I will maybe find out when I'm coloring or maybe not. I just going to enjoy and color them and hopefully I can let you show some amazing pages out of this one. That was the last book I bought in February of this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next video. Bye.